Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung. We're continuing on our series of VMware networking. We're going to look at the settings inside of VMware for you to change from NAT to bridged and to host only. We're looking at a pre-made virtual machine inside a VMware workstation. This is the Cisco IOU racks that we'll talk about that you will see in other videos. And let's just make a new VM here. We'll go to File and New, New Virtual Machine. The reason we're going to do this is I'm going to show you what virtual network adapters you could put inside of your virtual machine. So we'll just go with Typical here and installer disk yeah that's fine I'm not actually going to go through and install a real operating system yet we just want to see the networking options so I'm just going to do next next all this good stuff here and just before you click on finish we've got this customized hardware right here let's click on that and you can see off the bat you get a single network adapter this is a virtual network adapter inside of your virtual machine you can see device status right here, connected power on, and it's using NAT. If you remember from the first video, NAT means it will share the IP address. So if your Linksys router is giving you 192.168.1.2 for your host machine, then your virtual machine will also be using that IP address to connect to the rest of the world. Right? So you're, in effect, your Windows 7 or your host machine turns into a virtual router. So it's double routed, double natted behind your internet connection. Of course we could change that. You can see here we have host only, we have custom, and we have bridged, right? If you wanted to add multiple network adapters, so let's say you wanted to simulate a Windows server with two network interface cards, well you could do that. We could click add here and you've got network adapter. You could go pretty crazy on this one. We could say NAT and add another network adapter NAT as well so you know you could you could keep going I don't know what the actual maximum is I think it's 10 so okay so we've got four network adapters this would be kinda of silly we're all natting them out but I mean you could do it but usually what you would do is you would connect it to custom and you would pick VMware VMnet 1, 2 and all this and we'll explain what this means later Okay, so this is a quick look right here. Of when you create the virtual machine, these are the virtual network adapters you have. And these are the different options. Usually the most common would be bridged. That's what you get off the bat. But, or NAT. Bridged, if you want to connect directly, you want to get its own IP address. Host only shares it just within the machine. Okay, and normally you would click OK, but in my case, I'm going to cancel out of there. I don't actually want to create a virtual machine because I already have one. Okay, now another place we're going to go to edit our network settings is here is Edit Virtual Network Editor. This is in VMware Workstation. If you're running the free VMware player, uh, you're not going to see this. There is a way to get it, but it's kind of a it's kind of a pain in the ass. So. You know, just get VMware Workstation. That's kind of why they make you pay the extra money for Workstation is this extra functionality here. So Virtual Network ed Editor, click on that. You can see here we have VMware Net 1, VMNet or 0, and it goes all the way up to 9. So you've got 10 here. And what these are is they are virtual networks inside of your machine. We've got 10 in Windows, and I believe in the Linux version of VMware you go go all the way up to 255 I believe. So for each one we've got VMware 0 this is usually set to bridge uh, don't don't mess with that but the ones in 8 is NAT that's fine and then we've got all these other ones you could play with here I've kind of set them up already because this is what this is the settings you need for the IOU racks which we'll talk about later. So here you can see VMware VMNet 1 is host only. We could change that by messing with this. You could set a IP range here. In my case it's 10.10.10.0 and a mask. This is interesting. Use local DHCP service to distribute IP. So what this does is if you if you have this checked, VMware will turn it into a DHCP server and give IPs to your virtual machines which is really awesome. So let's say you do 
connect the virtual machine to VMNet1. Okay, and the way you would do this is when you get into your, let's say you're looking at this virtual machine, you've got Network Adapter 2. You just double click on that. You would select Custom, pick the drop down, and say, oh, okay, I want to connect that to the Network 1, Virtual Network 1 there, or 2, or whatever. So that's how you actually connect them in there. But let's go back to Virtual Network Connector. So this is the network, you give it an IP address, and then what will happen is your first virtual machine will probably get an IP of 10.10.10.1. Your second virtual machine, if you also connect it to VMNet1, will get .2, and so forth. So this is a pretty awesome utility. If you just if you don't want the DHCP service, you could uncheck that. And you can see we've got VMNet2. This is also host only. Of course, you can change all these if you like. Just remember that this these settings here are global so they will affect all of your virtual machines but that's kind of why they're giving you all of this so you have extra functionality here you can see kind of the naming scheme I've played around with if you're going to be playing around with the Cisco IOU racks the only ones you really need to pay attention to is uh, well zero zero and eight are normal you're gonna to have to change IP addresses and VM net one and two you have to change those to match those IP addresses and DHCP and all that stuff, but that's for a later video. Okay, so this was a quick and easy view of the settings inside of VMware Workstation. Basically, it's pretty easy. You just go into the virtual machine. You can edit virtual machine settings after you've made it, add network adapters. You can change your network adapters to connect to different networks different virtual networks or connect to NAT or bridged if you want. These are the network adapters inside the virtual machine. If you want to change the actual virtual network settings, the network itself, you go to edit and virtual network editor and this is where you change stuff. Usually where people mess up on is they have the subnet addresses wrong. So the subnet addresses don't match your virtual machine address. So let's say you have your machine connect to 10.10.10.0, right? And the DHCP is set to give, you know, one, dot two, dot three. What some people mess up on is when they make their virtual machine, they give it a static address of, let's say, 192.168.1.something, one dot something, and they wonder why they can't ping it. Well, it's because your virtual machine is on 192.168 and your network is on 10.10.10. So you have a mismatch in IPs. This is probably the most common mistake I've seen with VMware Workstation people. Okay, so this was a quick look at the virtual settings, virtual network settings inside of VMware Workstation. Thanks for watching.